For this week's tip of the week, I'm going to show you how to create this high key storm like photo simply by boosting the exposure and using local adjustments. So to give this photo a high key look, we're first going to have to boost our exposure quite a bit. So inside our tone and color pane, I'm just going to pull up on the exposure slider about three stops. And you'll notice that by doing that, it really created this nice kind of blown out look around these trees and around the top of our building. So now let's go in and modify our look just a little bit more by adding in some contrast. We'll add in some midtones, some shadows, and then we'll pull up on the structure. So let's hit the backslash key on our keyboard. And now we have a little bit of our high key look, but our building right here is still pretty blown out. So what we need to do is we need to add a new local adjustment layer that we can use to darken this area on our building. So let's head into our local adjustment tab. We'll go into this new adjustment layer. We'll make sure we have our exposure down about two or three stops. And then we'll just go over and paint this on to our building. So now that we've added that darkening layer to our building, let's head back into that local adjustment layer and modify it so that it's not so heavy on the building. I'm just going to pull down the opacity quite a bit and then pull up on it until it looks natural. Probably about right there. Now let's hit the backslash key on our keyboard. And we kind of have the building the way we want it. And all around it, we have this nice kind of bright high key look. So now let's head into effects. And I'm going to add a filter. And I'm just going to add the curves filter. And the reason I added this curves filter is so that I could go in to my black point down here. And I'm just going to pull up on it and move it to the right. So that I have a nice faded matte look on my photo. Now I'll just pull down on my shadow point and boost the midtones. And if I turn this off and on, it gives us a nice faded matte look while also maintaining that high key look we want around our building. So let's add a new filter. And I'm just gonna add this bleach bypass filter. This is gonna lighten the saturation and increase the contrast in my photo and give it sort of a cinematic look. So if I turn this off and on, You'll notice it gives my photo a nice cinematic edgy look to it. Let's add one last filter and I'm just going to add a vignette and then I'm going to go into these presets and I'm going to choose white vignette. Now let's go in and we'll play with the opacity and that really helped bring out a lot of those high key areas around the building. So now let's hit the backslash key on our keyboard. And there you have it. You've created a high key image using local adjustments and filters. I'm Dylan with On1 and thanks for watching.